Hello mga Mactusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong mat buddy, para tulungan kayo sa mga problema ninyo sa mat. And for today's video, ito na yung last part ng ating week 6. Okay, yung part 2 ng inyong assessment part sa law of cosines. Sa medyo naputol tayo kasi medyo mahaba na yung nakaraang video natin. Okay, pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko. Sige na, pindutin nyo na dyan ang like button para hindi na makalimutan pa mamaya. Sige na, pindut-pindut na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like na subscribe at ihit na rin ang notification bell. Sigurado? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for this one, sa number 3, so we have this uh, triangle ABC, wherein yung side B natin, 8, at yung sang, uh, side A natin ay A din. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin yan, sulat natin dito, we have angle A, angle B, angle C, and then we have A, B, and C. Okay? So, we have angle C as 125, and then we have side A, which is 8, and then side B is also 8. Okay? So, hanapin natin si side C using cosine. Okay? So, magiging C squared, yung formula natin, okay, is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Okay? Substitute natin. 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times uh, 8. Okay? Tapos, cosine... 125. Okay? So, 8 times 8 is 64 plus 64 pag in squared minus 64 din ito. Okay? Kasi 8 times 8 is 64 times 2 pa pala, that's 128. Sorry mga anak ha. This is 128. Delete ko lang. So, 64 plus 64, itong 8 squared, 8 squared, minus 128, cosine 135. Okay, calculator na natin siya agad-agad. So, we have there, 128, cosine 125. That's negative 73.41, ha? So, 64 plus 64 is 128 also minus negative 73.41. Okay? Dahil negative-negative ito, ibig sabihin lang yan ay 128 plus 73.41. Pag in ko yung dalawang yan, that is simply 201.41. Okay? Pero si C to yan. Ah, si C to. Si C squared yan. Okay? So, kailangan kunin muna natin yung square root niyan to identify C. Okay? So, our calculator is here. So, square root. Sorry. Square root ng 70. Ano? 201. Sorry. Square root of 201.41. And that's 14.19. Pero dahil 1 decimal lang, kasi nearest tenth lang, that will be 14.2. Okay? So, this will be 14.2. Okay? Now, mga anak ko, tingnan nyo ito, ha? Ito ay pareho, which means ang, ang, ang triangle natin ay isosceles triangle. At kapag pareho ito, ibig sabihin yung kanilang mga base angles ay pareho din. So, paano natin isosolve yung angle A and angle B? So, that is just simply angle A is equal to 180 minus, ano to? Si 125. Tapos, divided by 2 lang siya, ha? Kasi, yung angle A at angle B, pareho lang dapat sila ng measurement. Okay? Kasi nga, ano sila? Equal sila. So, kapag minus natin ito, magiging 55. And then, 55 divided by 2, that will be 27.5. Okay? So, this is 
27.5. This is also 27.5. Parang total nila 180. O, pakita ko lang sa inyo, ha? Okay. So, we have 27.5 plus 27.5 plus 125. That's 180. So, tama tayo. Okay, so degrees, degrees, and degrees. Okay, for the second part, ito, draw triangles given the indicated measure, measures below and solve for the missing part using the law of cosines. Round the answers to the nearest tenth pa rin tayo, ha? So, paano ba natin to ito drawing? Okay, so we have angle for angle A, which is 46, side B is 12, side C is 10. O, so, mag-drawing lang tayo, ha? Pasensya na mga anak ko, gumamit kayo ng ruler. O, suppose this is angle A. So, this is A, which is 46 degrees. If this is B, dapat yung B side niya, yung katapat niya, yun yung 12, Okay. And then, this will be C. So, yung katapat niya dito, C is equal to 10. Ito yung magiging illustration nyo, ha? Okay, now, so we have angle A, angle B, angle C, side A, side B, side C. O, ano-ano yung mga yan? Okay, for A, we have 46. For side B, we have 12. And for C, we have 10. Okay, now, let's solve for A. Okay, so we have here a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Okay, so b squared is 12 squared plus 10 squared kasi yung c mo minus 2 times 12 times 10 cosine. Ah, sorry, binago ko pala yung given ng ano natin, angle natin. So this is 56 ha. Sorry, kasi 46 ata yung nandiyan sa given nyo. Okay, so we have here 56. Okay, so we have 144 plus 100 minus 2 times 12 is uh, 200, 24 times 10. So you have 240 cosine 56. Now, 144 plus 100 is 244. Minus, ano yung cosine 240? Ano? Ah, what is 240 times cosine 56? So, we have 240 cosine 56. Ay, sorry. Ano nangyari? Wait lang, wait lang. Ayaw na ata akong pala. Ano nangyari? For a while, ayan, nagbalik na siya. <laughs> Kasi palagi ata siyang ginagamit, kaya nagganon. Ano nga tayo? 240 cosine 56 is this one. 134.21. Ha? Kasi ito ay 6 yung katabi niya. So, you will have 134.21. Pag may 9 na si to, this will be 109.79. 9. Pero yan ay a squared. Kailangan lang natin ay a. So, kailangan yung square root niya. So, a is equal to one, the square root of 109.79. So, kunin natin ang square root ng 109.79. And that is 10.47. Okay, pero nearest tenths lang. So, 10.5. Okay, so we have 10.5. <laughs> okay, so that will be our A. Okay, now, dahil meron na tayo nun, kaya na natin yung gamitan ng law of signs. Okay, so ano ba yung mas magiit ang angle? So, C. So, si C muna yung hanapin natin. So, sine C over C is equal to sine A over A. So, sine C over, ano yung small C natin? 10. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, 10. Tapos, yung A natin, sine A, is sine 56 over yung nasolve natin na 10.5. And then, cross multiply, 10.5 sine C is equal to 10 sine 56. Divide by 10.5 para makancel yun. 
Okay, so you will have sine C. 10 sine 56 over 10.5. Calculator natin ha. 10 times a sine 56 is equal to divided by 10.5. So, that's a 0 0.79 ha. Kasi yung katabi ng 8 ay 9. Okay, so 0 0.79. Mga anak, sa so final answer lang ako nagte-tenth place ha. Pero tandaan natin, ito ay sine C. Ang kailangan natin ay C. So, kailangan natin si arc sine ha. Sa inyo, kung may calculator kayo, inverse sine, second function sine, shift sine ha. Okay, dahil kami ay may arc sine, swerte kami. So, we have 0.79. That will be 52.18. Nearest tenth, dahil 8 ito, magiging 2 na to. So, 52.2. So, you will have here 52.2. Eto na ngayon yung angle C. Angle C natin ay 52.2. O, yung mga degrees ha. And then, to get angle B, alam na alam nyo na to ha. So, angle B is equal to 180 minus 56 plus 52.2. So, that is how many? Ilan yon? So, you will have 180 minus 108.2 and that is 71.8. Okay? So, your angle B is 71.8 degrees. So, ayan na. Nakompleto na natin. Last na one na to, mga anak ko. Okay? So, we have uh, side A, side B, side C. Okay? So, madali lang naman ito. So, this is A, B, C. So, yung katapat niya, yun yung A, which is 10. Yung B, yung katapat niya, yun yung side B, which is 12. Yung C, yung katapat niya, is side C, which is 15. O, kompletuhin natin, angle A, angle B, angle C, side A, side B, side C. Side A is 10, side B is 12, side C is 15. So, hahanapin natin yung mga angles. Okay, so yung pinakamaliit natin dyan ay A. So, kunin natin si cosine A. Cosine A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Okay, so 12 squared plus 15 squared minus 10 squared. Substitute na ha, over 2 times 12 times 15. Okay, 12 squared is 144 plus 225, 15 squared yon minus 100. Tapos pag binag times ko si 2 times 12 times 15, that is 360. Okay, ngayon pag in ko si 144, asa na? Si 144 plus 225 minus 100, that is just simply 265 over 360. O, pakita ko, i-divide natin ha. 265 divided by 360, that is 0 0.74. 0 0.74. Kaya lang si cosine A to. Ang kailangan ko lang si A, kaya kailangan mag-arc sign tayo. Okay? 0.74 yan ha, kasi 6 yung katabi. So, cosine or arc cosine, sorry, Arc cosine na niyon, 0.74, is 42.3. 42.3. 42 42.3. Ito na ngayon yung ating A. 42.3. Okay. Ano na yung susunod na maliit? Yung B. So, kukunin natin yung B using sine ha. So, sine B over B is equal to sine A over A. So, we have here sine B over, ano yung B natin? 12 equals to sine 42.3 over 10. Okay, madali na lang to. Alam nyo na, alam nyo na to. So, we have 10 sine B is equal to 12 sine 42.3. And then, divide 10 para sine B na lang to. So, we have sine B is equal to 12 sine 42.3 divided by 10. So, you, we need calculator for this one. We have 12 sine 42. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Ulit. 12 sine 42.3 
equals this one divided by 10. So, you will have your 0 0.81, ha? Huh? So, you will have... 0.81. Pero ang kailangan lang natin, B, kaya kailangan mag arc sign. Okay? So, we have arc sign 0.81. Kaya, ito ay magiging 54.1. Ha? Kasi 0 0.09. So, round off 54.1. Okay? Yun na ngayon ang ating sign B. 54.1 Okay, ang dali-dali na lang para makuha si C. Dito ko na lang lagay ha. Angle C is equal to 180 minus 42.3 plus 54.1 Okay, adding them, magkakaroon ka ng 96 Anong nangyari dito? Bakit naging equals? Okay, so 96 minus 96.4 and then, pag sinabtrack natin, magiging 54 point... Ay, no, sorry. Mali ako nang nakita. Pag minus natin yan, magiging 83.6. Okay. So, that's it. Ganun lang siya. Medyo mahaba lang, pero kayang-kaya nyo yan. Ha? So, din nyo lang yung procedure. And I'm sure kayang-kaya nyo isolve yung mga problema ninyo dyan sa inyong mga muzos. At lagi kong sinasabi, mga anak ko, kung natutunan nyo at natulungan ko kayo sa video na ito, i-comment yan sa ating comment section kasi sobrang mahalaga ang inyong mga comment para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin naman siya ng iba. At huwag kalimutang i-share agad sa inyong mga classmates. Baka naman kasi nababaliw na silang mag-solve dyan nang wala namang nagtuturo sa kanila. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Oops, follow din ang ating Facebook page, Love Math TV. Ulit, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and comment na. Bye!